It's Tuesday the 28th of July. Uh, we're at the beginning of the penultimate sitting week uh, of this parliament. Uh, and today we're going to have an extended sitting, uh, which will go from 2 to 6. Uh, it will go from 7.30 till 10 and come back in the morning and run from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock dealing with estimates. Uh, but first of all, we'll start as we normally do uh, with questions. Uh, the first to the Minister of Finance from Kiritapu, Allen, uh, about the New Zealand economy. Judith Collins to the Prime Minister about infrastructure projects. Uh, Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance um, about tax. James Shaw to the Minister of Housing about the uh, Progressive Home Ownership Programme. Uh, Jerry Brownlee t about legislation uh, to charge people for their managed isolation. And Duncan Webb to the Minister of Energy and Resources uh, for the, uh, uh, about the government's target of 100% 100% renewable electricity. Uh, Shane Retty about um, isolation facility staff um, being also working in public hospitals. Uh, Louise Upston to the Minister for Social Development uh, about the proportion of the working age population receiving a wage subsidy, income relief payment or job seeker support. Uh, Jan Tanetti to the Minister of Education about uh, vocational training and apprenticeships. Uh, Chris Bishop to the uh, Associate Minister of Transport uh, about her statements on road safety. Simeon Brown to the Minister's Corrections about whether uh, offenders should complete their community service hours and Priyanka Radhakrishnan to the Minister of Social Development about supporting New Zealanders towards financial security. Uh, we'll then go on to the estimates debate which is sort of the committee stages of the budget. It's where um, every minister is available to the opposition uh, for them to question uh, about the budget in their portfolio area. And we'll run through a minister, starting off with education and health, um, and then economic development and transport and tourism, uh, then the immigration workforce uh, relations and safety and employment, then the environment, conservation, foreign affairs and defence, and finance. Uh, and that should certainly get us through uh, tonight and into the morning. In the morning, likely to have justice, uh, which will include corrections and courts and police, uh, Maori affairs, um, primary sector, uh, and then finally social services uh, and the uh, community uh, sector. So um, it's a debate, the length of which for each minister is uh, uh, split up on a proportional basis, but the opposition getting the vast majority of the calls. Uh, and it's uh, important uh, to get the budget passed uh, before the Parliament breaks uh, for the election uh, so that the money is available uh, for departments to spend for the rest of the year. I'll be back in again tomorrow at two o'clock.